Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams. Down, singing louder than the crowd. Here is my breakfast. It's looking perfect. Nice and crispy bacon. Nicely brown scrambled eggs like I like them. So I'm going to go enjoy. Welcome back to another Saturday vlog and grocery haul video. We are getting ready to um, do the groceries. Charlie went to pick them up. He should be back any second now. And you've probably just seen my breakfast and everything. I think that's all that I have filmed so far today. So I just wanted to say good morning, introduce myself to anybody that might be new here. My name is Jennifer. I'm 46 years old. I've been doing WW since September of 2019. And on my channel, I like to do... I kind of have a routine. I do my grocery haul videos, which is also like a Saturday vlog. I just kind of take you all along with me all day on Saturday. And then I do a Sunday meal prep video. And then I film kind of what I eat in a week just to show you how I incorporate those meals and go through my week. And then there are also some extra videos thrown in there as well. So if you are new here, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Whenever they upload, you will be notified and then also follow me over on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram handle for you here as well. And I also have a really good Facebook group. It is called Finding Our Way. This is what the icon of that looks like. And then there is a direct link down in the description box to that Facebook group. And I highly suggest that you join it. It is a great group, great people in there, great information. Everybody shares a lot of stuff. I love that group. Anywho, um, without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, guys, we have the groceries set up and are ready to go. Um, I don't know where Nico went. He was in the bags and everything, but we've already put those away. So y'all may or may not get to see Nico. Sorry about that. Uh, but we are kind of in a hurry because the flooring store closes at 1. So we need to get these put away and get over there and get that taken care of. So for our meal plan for this week, before I get into it, we are just doing uh, taco soup. And then we are doing spaghetti for the other meal. And along with that, we will have garlic rolls. And I guess, so we're going to have a good bread week this week. Um, our uh, corn muffins with the taco soup and then the garlic rolls with the bread. So anywho let's just jump right into it i thought that i had a bunch of frozen chicken breast but i didn't i only had one in the freezer so i went ahead and got another pack of chicken so we can use, i like to use three chicken breasts in my taco soup recipe and then we will go ahead and trim up and freeze the other two of course i got my boar's head oven roasted gold turkey breast that i always get 
Um, I think we are going to grill out today, probably for lunch. And I got a pack of hot dogs. Um, I did get another pack of just the turkey pepperoni to have. I got two packs of lean ground beef. One is for Charlie to grill out some burgers today, and then one is for his spaghetti. And then I got two packs of the 99% extra lean ground turkey breast. One of those is for the for my spaghetti, and then I'm going to go ahead and make some of the turkey burgers for, with that Southwestern Chipotle Mrs. Dash seasoning today. So excited to try that. And then I got us some boxes of Crystal Light. I just got five grapes. One of these grapes is open on the bottom, so if I pick it up, the package will <laughs> literally fall out. And then I got one lemon, and then these are the drinks that Charlie always likes to make up in like a pitcher and just keep in the refrigerator. It's kind of like the Kroger version of Crystal Light. And then I got a thing of eggs. Of course, I got my pineapple. Of course, I got my Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt, which I will use quite a bit of it this week between making the hummus that I'm going to make and the garlic rolls and then my normal yogurt that I use. I got a can of the country style baked beans for Charlie and them to go along with the burgers. I'm going to make myself some of the Alexia sweet potato fries. I don't know if anybody else will want any or not. Uh, I did pick up another pack of provolone cheese. They did not have the ultra thin, but I think one slice of the regular cheese is just two points. So I just went ahead and got the regular. Uh, I got my trio of bell peppers that I always get that I dice up for my breakfast and for my pizzas and stuff. And then I have my blueberries. Uh, I went ahead and got two more bags of baby carrots to eat my hummus with. I do have a few carrots left in the previous week's bag, so I'm going to make sure I eat those first. And then we will dig into these, but carrots stay good for a little while. Uh, I got two cans of black beans. This is for the taco soup. I also got two cans of fire roasted rotel and two cans of original. This is for the taco soup as well. And so is the taco seasoning that I got. I got one hot and spicy and then one of the original Taco Bells. For my spaghetti, I'm going to have zoodles. Now last week they gave me really pretty massive zucchini. This week I got some tiny looking little ugly ones. So we'll see how those turn out. But my plan is to have two of these each night as my noodles. So basically my spaghetti will be zero points because I already have the zero point marinara made up in the freezer, which I probably need to go ahead and get that out so that it can kind of be dethawing. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it in some warm water or something tomorrow. We'll see. I just went ahead and picked up four bananas like I did last week. I think that's what I'm going to do and then just stop midweek and pick up a couple of more. Um, I got a really nice pretty looking tomato today. So super excited about that. I think of my Prego pizza sauce, another can of the garbanzo beans or chickpeas for my hummus. I got a pretty nice looking cantaloupe here. So I'm hoping that all my fruit is good this week. Um, I got a thing of chicken broth that is for the taco soup. And then I just got a thing of this Aveeno body wash. This is the one I always use. I had a coupon. I'm not out of it, but I saw that the coupon was going to expire in a few days. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and pick one up. That way I can save a dollar. I got two things of the almond milk, which our granddaughter is with us this weekend. And she drinks the almond milk as well. So I definitely need a backup. And then I got two things of the egg whites. They were out of the Kroger brand, which is what I put on there. But then they asked if I wanted a substitution. But look at this. It's like this flower's already been opened. I hate it whenever they give me stuff like that. I hope it's okay. But anyway, um, so I got another thing of the cornmeal mix that I like to use. And then the self-rising flour. And both of those... Yeah, both of those are the ones that I try to always get. For some reason, I like the hot rise. You can always use any self-rising corn milk. It does not have to be this one in the yellow bag to make the corn muffins. I've used the other, and they turn out just as well. I got Charlie a thing of Santitas. He is going to be on vacation the next couple of weeks. I know, like, he'll eat, like, chips and salsa and stuff. I think he's got an unopened jar of salsa in the cabinet anyway. I uh, got some hamburger buns for us to grill out with today and some fresh hot dog buns. I got my Arnold sandwich thins for my sandwiches. And I think that is it. Did I miss anything? Lots of times I'll go back and I'll see that I've missed pointing something out. But you can see everything here. Pretty much our basic stuff. We do have easy recipes this week. Nothing new. Mostly because we do have our granddaughter. And I just need easy stuff that we can just throw together real quick. And we want to enjoy some pool time. So we're going to put this away real quick so that we can get to the flooring store.
Okay guys, we just got back from the flooring store and we are gonna get ready to grill out. So I have some of my 99% lean ground turkey breast and I'm gonna use the Mrs. Dash um, Southwestern Chipotle seasoning today, which I have not tried that one yet. Yeah, this is what it looks like if it will focus on that. It never wants to focus when I want it to. Let me smell it and see what this one smells like. It smells good. I think that the turkey burgers will taste good in this. I know that some of y'all have tried it and recommended it. So I'm just going to do two tablespoons of that with the ground turkey meat. So I'm going to touch it down and then I'm just going to make four little patties. I will just freeze the ones that I don't use and I'm just going to put them on a paper plate so Charlie can take them out to the grill. He, he is going to make um, hamburgers and hot dogs for himself and Athena and his mom is here too. And then we're going to swim. Everybody's starving, so we're in a hurry to eat. Okay, so this is the easiest recipe. We are going to just do two tablespoons of the Mrs. Dash. And I love the tomato basil garlic one in there. We'll see how I like this one. And then I'm also going to have fruit with mine and some Alexia sweet potato fries. Y'all know I love those. I think Charlie's going to make some baked beans and stuff too, but I don't think I'm going to eat any of those. Okay, guys, so I've got that mixed up pretty well. I'm just going to divide it out using my little hamburger press thing um, and do four ounces or about four ounces in each one. And I am going to spray both sides of this with the olive oil spray because otherwise the turkey is real sticky. Again, on the blue plan, this is zero points, so if you didn't want to measure it, you don't have to, but there, that is exactly four ounces. Let's see if I can try to form it into a little bit of a ball. Hey, I'm talking. Let's see if I can form it into a little bit of a shape here. And then I'm just going to use my little masher. And voila, there's my little turkey burger. So I'm just going to make four of those. I will freeze the other three that I don't eat today. So there we go. I've got my four burgers ready. Charlie will go grill those. And then I'm going to put them in the wrap and do the little TikTok wrap thing with it once it's done. So now I'm just going to put some Alexia sweet potato fries on and get my fruit and stuff ready and get changed because we are going to swim, hopefully. So I will check back in with y'all once I get my plate ready. Okay guys, real quick, I wanted to talk about Timmy again. Y'all know I have been drinking my greens with my BCAAs and the Gut Love almost every day, which I did run out of the greens and was out of those for a few days and I definitely missed them. I finally got them back. Well, Timmy finally got them back in stock, I think this past week. And so hopefully everybody has received their orders and um, I'm out of my Gut Love. Now I've got to order that. I just finished it off. It's completely empty. But um, I am going to save this little container just because we are going on vacation soon and that way I can take some of my stuff maybe just in one of these containers. Just go ahead and make me a mixture of stuff so that I can, you know, still get my stuff in while I am in Florida here in a couple of weeks. So I wanted to save the container. And then I also wanted to talk about the Timmy Restore, which this is something new that I'm trying because it, um, well, it's to balance your body and mind. This is an orange citrus flavor, but it also contains vitamin C, calcium, and magnesium. And a lot of people had suggested magnesium for my leg cramps. This is one that you drink warm. You put boiling water over it. And so what I've been doing is just putting it in a cup. I have it in here. You can see it. It's nice and yellow. And it is, uh, it's really sweet and citrusy. I like it in the evenings. I don't know really what flavor to say that it tastes like. It's not necessarily orange. It's not really lemon or anything. It's a really a good blend. It does uh, help you relax and stuff in the evening. So I think this is something great to add to my line of supplements that I'm taking. As far as the leg cramps, I haven't had any leg cramps with it, but I've only taken it a couple of days. So I will try to, you know, keep y'all updated in my weekly vlog next week on that. But again, I just wanted to thank Timmy and of course they have given a discount code. It is JLIN20 to save 20% off any orders, $29 and above. I'll have that here on the screen for you and then down in the description box below as well. 
so yeah check out Teamy again they have some great products all of them are you know non-gmo gluten-free dairy and soy free preservative free no artificial colors or flavors no artificial sweeteners so very high quality products and i think that y'all will love them if y'all are looking to add any supplements into your diet like these they also have some skincare um, they also have some eye cream and stuff like that. I have not tried that yet. I have been meaning to, but just haven't done it. Um, they just came out with a new um, eye cream, and I know a lot of y'all have requested, you know, updated um, skincare routines and stuff from me. So I think I'm going to try to order some of the eye cream this week so that I can try that along with my replacement gut love and they have a this one is actually triple berry flavored i don't really taste it though because i mix it in with my bcaa's and my greens so they have the unflavored in stock i think this one is currently out of stock so i'm just going to order the unflavored because i'm mixing it up in the other stuff anyway but again thank you teamy and thank you for giving a discount code for anyone who wants to use it um, to try any of these products out so Anywho, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my drink and get ready to take my afternoon nap. I am drinking this a little bit earlier than normal, but we are fixing to get in the pool and I am going to definitely have a nap while I uh, float in the pool. So cheers guys and I will check in with y'all later. Okay guys, I got changed into my bathing suit. Charlie has my turkey burgers ready over here. This is what it looks like. It's nice and warm. I'm going to just place it here and then we're going to fold the wrap up. Over hey, hey, mister. and down, just like that. And then I'm just going to toast it in the skillet just for a little while, just dry hey, toast hey. it. And then I'll show hey. you my plate once it's done. Okay, guys, here is my plate. I have my turkey burger wrap toasted up nicely, my sweet potato fries, my um, fruit, obviously, and then this is my yogurt. I need to uh, get that stirred up and I am ready to head outside and eat. So I'm going to head out to the pool and yeah, we'll see if I get any pool footage. Maybe not. Um, we have our granddaughter here and then Charlie's mother is here as well. guys so it has been a little bit since i talked to y'all probably since i fixed my lunch or whatever but um i might have got a little bit of pool footage of charlie and i floating um if i did then you would have just seen that basically we i took a nap you didn't take a nap in the pool did you I did. you did mm -hmm. wow charlie actually fell asleep too so I took a pretty good nap in the pool which I know is kind of shocking to most people but that little float that just you know holds me above the water it's just like sleeping on a waterbed or something I guess I don't know I can sleep easily but anyway um then we woke up and then Athena got up and everything so we are staying home tonight Charlie went to Jason's Deli and picked up our dinner which I got the half chicken panini and the fire roasted tortilla soup. Now that is actually a fairly low point meal if you pull that up in your WW app. Let me grab my phone because I can't remember exactly. It ends up to be, I think 11 or 12 points for the full meal. Okay, so I've got it in here twice and one of them it says it's 11. The new one says 12. So the half chicken panini, just the way that it comes, is 9 points. And then a cup of the fire roasted tortilla soup is 3 points. So I think that's pretty good if you're going to have, um, you know, if you want to go out to eat or something. And I like, always love that chicken panini. I don't make any changes to it. I mean, it's got cheese and pesto and uh, tomatoes and whatnot on it. Where is mine? which they always send the chips. I don't know if y'all have had Jason's Deli. I'm sure you have. And they usually send a pickle, which I always give mine to Charlie if he wants it. Do you want my pickle? Even though ooh, that felt wet. I'm just not a huge fan of the pickle. Oh, so the, this is for the fire roasted tortilla soup. These are the little chips that go on top of it. <laughs> Two tiny little peppermints. Nobody's going to eat. 
see how my chicken panini looks okay so i have my plate made up here let me flip you around here and show it to you okay guys here is the fire roasted tortilla soup which i went ahead and put the little chips in there and this is really good it's nice and spicy like i like and then this is the chicken panini and um again this is nice and cheesy with chicken i think arugula on there and some pesto and cheese and stuff so super good meal for just 12 points anytime i go to jason's deli this is what i always get regardless of whether or not i'm doing weight watchers so uh charlie i think gets the big beef eater sandwich and the broccoli cheese soup i'm sure that's a lot more points but y'all know he doesn't count points so it doesn't matter but anyway guys i just wanted to go ahead and close out today's video i hope that y'all enjoyed it we got to see the grocery haul my breakfast my lunch and then now my dinner um i think the only other thing that i ate that y'all didn't see today was some pistachios i did snack on a few of those that's just something that i like to take out to the pool and um yeah i think that's it and i will probably have one of my chocolate muffins later you know i made the um sugar-free muffins for the weekend so the one with the diet coke and the sugar-free cake mix so yeah that'll probably be dessert or else an ice cream bar i don't know my ice cream bars are kind of sounding good although i'm on slim stock of my ice cream bars i mean i barely have any left but anyway, I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. If you haven't already, like this video, subscribe, do all the things, and I'll see you next time.